Let's do it here, let's do it, come on, let's do it here. Let me introduce ya. Hey, how is it going? Hope you are doing well, hope you are doing great. I will be sharing with you some tips, tricks, hacks, lists, <laughs> call it whatever you want to call it. I will personally call it my survival kit for making an international trip or any trip actually with a toddler. My husband and I and our two year old boy recently made uh, an international trip from the US to Nigeria and it was a very long, tiring, exhausted <laughs> trip to make. We flew Turkish airlines and we flew from Houston to Istanbul, from Istanbul to Lagos and then same route back and it was, just, it was just a long one. And I've divided them into different categories, okay? So let's start with the basic categories, just like a gentle reminder of things that you definitely need to pack. You need to pack enough clothes and socks and shoes. Don't say, oh, we're going for just four days and then you pack clothes for four days, no. Even if you're going for four days, times those four days by three. Assuming they end up wearing three clothing items per day, do you get? So pack in excess, that's the thing with kids. You can't, you can't, because, because they're kids, you can't predict what's going to happen. You know, you are, how their clothes might get dirty or stained or something. Like you just want to be over prepared. That's one thing I learned on this trip that being over prepared is way better than diapers. I packed diapers from here. I actually bought a box of diapers from here because I didn't want to get to Nigeria and then start stressing or start looking for where to buy this or that. I am is used to a certain brand. I didn't want to expose him to a situation where I would now buy a brand it's not used to, and then you now start breaking out or getting rashes or something. I just I didn't want that. It was I we had the space because it was over two. We had to buy a seat for him, so it was entitled to two bags. So I was like, listen. He has the space, he has the allotment for bags. I am going to pack and buy everything that he needs. And that was exactly what I did. So his diapers, his clothes, his wipes. I bought all those things from here. Toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, socks. Uh, I've mentioned socks already. Uh, what else? His international passport as well. So because he was going to Nigeria, we tried uh, getting his passport, but we didn't even proceed too far before we found out that it would take about three months before he'd be able to get it. And we're just like, you know what? We're going to uh, go with a visa. Thankfully, I posted on Instagram and someone responded and told me how to go about getting a visa for him. And I tell you, within, was like, it was, I think it was like exactly two weeks, we got his, you know, US passport back with his Nigerian visa in it and it was good to go. So make sure all of those things are sorted, you know, before you embark on that trip. And right now you also have to feel like a COVID form online and all of those. So make sure to, if you need, if you have questions or if I'm not being clear about something, just ask in the comments, okay? And I'll try to answer, but just make sure you are prepared as far as your paperwork is concerned. The flying part, part you know, including your layovers and everything. One of the things I'm so grateful to God for that we packed was this stroller. Okay, so if you have a young child, you have a baby, don't even question it. Don't say if not, maybe go carry that stroller, okay? In fact, I reduced the number of hand luggages we decided to carry because I calculated pushing a stroller into it. And I was like, okay, you know what? We can't carry four hand luggages you get and still be pushing a stroller, it just wouldn't work. So we had to reduce it. And, and let me tell you, best decision ever. Another thing are snacks. See, listen, you're going on a very long flight. The only thing that can calm them down, aside to entertainment, which I'll get to shortly, is food, all manner of food. So I packed, I bought like a variety of snack pack, and then I packed different ones in there and then his favorites as well so you want to back not just snacks but your child's favorites as well our son particularly loves the king's hawaiian uh rolls so i bought yes i bought like three packs of those yes and they lasted me one week in nigeria flying to nigeria and then an additional one week out of the three it finished like two and a half 
of it. And then the remaining half was, wasn't, wasn't as fresh anymore. So we just decided to dispose of it. So snacks, snacks, snacks. Now you're going on a long flight. Don't, don't even say three is enough. Eh? Because if you, and why I say you should buy variety is because they get bored. They'll get bored of eating the same thing and they're just like, no, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. So you're like, okay, what am I going to do? I, I packed grapes. Yes, our son loves grapes. So I chopped up some grapes in a Ziploc bag. I packed his milk. I packed bread. I packed different variety of snacks. I packed his apple sauce. So, and in large numbers as well, in my hand luggage, and then in the main traveling bag as well, I carried his milk as well. There are some, uh, some on the go milks that you can just buy if you're traveling from the U S anyway, that you can buy and you can travel with easily. I carried his water, you know, his water cups and bottled water. Like I just, everything I knew was going to need. I had in my hand luggage and then his diapers, his wipes. I had those in there as well. So, so that I would not be caught off guard at any point. So you have to be prepared with the food because they're going to get cranky. They're going to get tired. You're not going to want to stay. The only thing aside other things I might mention would be like the major thing that can keep them calm is food. All right. So the next aspect of the trip is the entertainment. So we're still traveling. Okay. Food is not going to cut it. Food is not going to be enough. <laughs> and we knew this before traveling. So just a few days before we travel, I think about a week before we traveled, we got him uh, a, a tablet, an Amazon fire tablet, a tablet. He had, he did not have one up until that point, but we knew he was going to need it for the trip. So we got one for him. And then I spent time. The tab comes with a lot of unnecessary over, I think about 6,000, what am I saying? About 8,000 worth of content for a two-year-old even after putting the age you know category that i wanted it to be and all of that so i spent time deleting a lot of it and then i found a way where i could just block all the everything completely i just blocked it four additional games and then i just put them on the tab and that was all we had and so a few days before we left we gave him the tab so he could become familiar you know with it and everything so he could become familiar with it and all of that it took him a, a while it took i think i think it took him about three to four days before he became familiar with it and then he really liked it so by the time we got on the trip he knew what to do so that tab really came in handy as he's form of, of entertainment at some point we'll play with him or you know i might play with him my husband might play with him or whatnot but that was how we were able to navigate um traveling and then during the layovers you know thankfully our layovers weren't long they were about three hours so you know before leaving from one gate to the next it was almost time for boarding you know so you know I, so we just let him out of his stroller to run around he played with was a girl he messed there that you know both of them were chasing each other around whilst we were waiting at the gates you know everybody was just laughing so it was you know we let him play i freshened up as well my husband freshened up i freshened him up as well changed the changes diaper wiped him up and all of that so you know with all of that we were able to manage the trip but just be prepared you know there are times during the trip that it would or your child might not want food they might not want the tab they might all they might just they'll, they'll just be crying you know and all the probably just wants is to be let out so that was another thing we did was to take walks around the cabin yes in the air so we walked around a few times i just let him run and then i'll just walk after him you know and he'll stop he'll laugh he'll play you know he's a two-year-old that's what he wants to do so that's how we're able to manage the traveling aspects now another aspect of the traveling is sleep right so he's not used to sleeping sitting up so at some point i had to back him yes he was getting cranky and he was obviously sleepy but he couldn't sleep i held him it wasn't working my husband held him it wasn't working my husband was like you back him and i was like you know what i'm just gonna have to do that so we got up and we used one of the blankets that they gave us and i just backed him he was knocked out within 10 to 15 minutes you know and then i was able to go back to my seat and i held him while he slept for a few hours and then after that i gave him to my husband and my husband held him whilst i slept so we were able to just work together you know to make everything work now for the trip to nigeria itself there were some major items that 
I bought from here as well. One being mosquito repellents. I, you know, I mean, we all know how it is in Nigeria. Everything. He's never been to Nigeria, so I wanted to be as safe as possible. So I found these mosquito repellents on uh, on Amazon, and they are they are not like I bought the spray ones, the ones you can just spray on and all of that. But in addition to that, I bought some sticker ones that you can just stick on uh, on the clothes. That they're, they're they're green. I don't remember where I dumped them, but I know we still had some coming back. It comes, it comes like a lot inside one pack, actually, like over a hundred. But apparently they last for three to four hours. So whenever, at night, I used it. In the morning, after after dressing him up, I used it. So it's green, it just stick. I just always stuck it at the back of his clothes so that way he can't peel it off and everything. I'll put one on his shirt, one on his pants, and then I'll spray the um, uh, mosquito repellent spray on him as well and then that would be good. So I was just trying to err on the side of caution, you know, I'd rather be over prepared than not being prepared at all. Remember I said that at the beginning? So if you're going to Nigeria in particular, then that's something you definitely want to look into for your kids as well, especially if they've never been to Nigeria. Another thing that I packed from here was his water. My sister was laughing when I said it. I was like, listen, he's never been to Nigeria, okay? I have to take that into consideration. I'm not trying to be proud. I'm just trying to be a mom and be safe. You know, and be and protect him as much as possible. I can go to Nigeria and behave anyhow, right? I can't let him do that. So I carried is there are these kegs of water that uh, they sell at the grocery stores here, like uh, at Walmart or HEB or something. They're big kegs of water. Um, I bought three of those, and then we had some small, small like small small bottled waters as well so he so when we were in nigeria we were drinking nestle bottled water but he was drinking his own water so even we, if we went out I, i'd carry his cup his water with me and i'd you know I'd, i might even carry two cups depending on how long we're going to stay out or i'd carry the little bottle water from that we brought from here and take that with me just in case it finishes the one in his cup you know so again <sighs> We're just being safe, it wasn't pride or anything, we're just trying to be careful. And that's something you should definitely consider if you're traveling with your baby or your toddler. Another thing was that we made sure all these shots uh, and, you know, vaccines were up to date before we even traveled. Um, again, make sure you do that. You're just trying to keep them as protected as possible. For us, we're able to get anti-malaria from uh, prescription from our doctor, but we weren't able to get for him. I think because he's a child or something, you know, we weren't able to get him any form of anti-malaria. So that's why, again, I took extra care with the mosquito repellent. I also packed his food, his cereals. Like I said, I packed the bread, you know. I, I just packed as much food that he likes as possible because i knew that okay over there there might be restrictions you know we don't have this we don't have that and also trying to make his own food myself with his own water as well then his medications as well painkillers any medications i was on you know tommy medicine you just 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 like be over prepared okay don't say ah he rich he rich oh he rich he rich <laughs> i packed his plates and spoons as well again things he's used to he's not using random ones it didn't cost me anything to pack them i put them in ziploc bags and that was it sunscreen as well okay in addition to the mosquito repellent and everything i wasn't putting everything at the same time but um yeah i did carry sunscreen for him as well and i used it whilst we were there don't forget your hand sanitizer i bought a bunch we had in every bag we were carrying so we were never out of hand sanitizers and then any favorite items that your child might like i carried some of his books he likes to read so i carried some of his books as well um his, his study was too big his study bear was too big to carry so i didn't carry it and then i didn't take the smaller one because i was like like, okay it's two weeks i'm going to manage because i didn't want a situation where would lose it or something so i was like okay i'm not going to take that but take some of your son's or your child's favorite items so that in the midst of you know whatever is going on this new environment that they are experiencing 
you're still able to give them something familiar, something that they're used to. And then pray, just pray, Lord, pray over them every day. You know, they're covered with the blood of Jesus. No harm is going to come to them. I'm not gonna lie, it was a very, very exhausting trip. It took a lot out of me preparing and even returning as well. By the time we got back, I was exhausted. I, you know, at the airport, it was cranky. It was crying. It was not unconsolable. I did not know what to do. My husband did not know what to do. I was tired as well. You know, my husband was tired. It was, it was emotionally draining at some point. But you know, by the grace of God, we're able to get through it. But you would make the trip easier for yourself if you plan as much as possible. And if you are over prepared, you know, that will save you a lot of headache and a lot of heartache as well. If you have specific questions or if, you, if there are things that you're not clear about, please ask in the comment sections or if you have recommendations as well for those who travel often with kids and all of that, please leave them in the comments so other people can learn from those things as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has value for your time. I pray God blesses you, your homes, your marriages, your relationships. Most importantly, I pray God blesses you. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>